Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. So, the Outer Worlds. And we're in Supernova, as you can see. And as you can see, I'm a food addict. <laughs> Let me get that debuff off there. And where are we? Edgewater landing pad. Okay. Let's just step outside. This is a lone wolf. So. Um. Let's talk about the skills. I haven't done a video on the skills of the Outer Worlds. So let's go through them one by one. And let's talk about their effects and their tiers and what you should be looking for. Um, so let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. So you start off with melee. Okay. Um, so as you put points into one-handed melee, your one-handed melee crit chance goes up. It gets pretty high. Um, how high does it need to get? I don't know. I do know that my two-handed melee build crits every time he swings. <laughs> so, um, probably when you're asking yourself how much of a particular skill you need, you're looking at the passive and you're looking at the base skill unlocks, the tiers. So for one-handed melee, 20 gives you power attacks and sweeps. So, yeah, minimum of 20, absolutely. Um, 40 gives you TTD hit locations. That's going to depend on do you use TTD? Do you aim for weak spots? Uh, you know, how are you playing? How are you fighting? Um, and that's going to come back to your, your attributes because if your perception is below average, you won't be doing weak spot damage. You, you, you get none. So you got to be careful with that one. Okay, so 60, increase one-handed melee weapon reach. I haven't done a one-handed melee build. I probably should. Maybe I will. That sounds like an important one to me. Um, 80, now we're starting to get iffy here. So melee weapon TTD drain minus 50%. That's great if you're using TTD. Okay. And then 100 is um, so your power and sweep attacks have a chance to stun one one and four. That's not bad. Um, you know that's that's okay. It could be great. Um, so you know you want to look at these tiers and decide what's important to you and. Um, what suits your play style. If I wasn't using TTD, I wouldn't go above 60, personally. Um, it's sad to say that in this game, um, a lot of your damage comes from tinkering. And that's science skill, and we'll talk about that. So, on these weapon tiers, you need to look at which of these unlocks matches your play style and then you need to look at the passive and see how high that crit because see putting points into one-handed melee does not necessarily increase one-handed melee damage and that's weird to me i don't know why they did it that way in every other game you play as you raise these skills the damage you do with one-handed weapons goes up but not in this game only with the tears and only with the passives so two-handed melee this is very similar um, on my two-handed build, my crit chance is something like, oh God, it's way over 200%. It might even be over 300%. I, I, it's, it's, it's insane. And you have to ask yourself, um, how much, you know, how much crit chance do you really need? You know, six percent is pretty darn low. Um, but do you need 300% crit chance? I, I, I don't know. Um, I may respec my two-handed guy and see, um, check his damage, but for me, I, I mainly look at the unlocks. And so you've got 20, just like one-handed, you unlock power and sweep attacks, so that's a no-brainer, yes. 40, TTD hit locations. Once again, do you have enough perception to do weak spot 
damage. Now, you know, there there are locations, like on RAM, um, you want to hit him in the legs, he has leg capacitors, and you smack him in the, just the, the side of his thigh, and it cripples him for a few moments. So even without the extra TTT damage, it's still useful to hit RAM in weak spots. I know, because that's the only way I was able to beat the son of a bitch. He was tough. Um... Two-handed melee weapon attacks are unblockable. Um, I mean, this is... It's handy, don't get me wrong. But uh, most of your ranged attackers don't block. At least I never saw them block. <clears throat> okay. Um, expert. I didn't build my melee two-hander to use TTD that much. So that really didn't help a lot. And then the power sweep attacks, um, chance knockdown. That's that's handy, sure. Um, and and I went to 100 two-handed melee, so that's fun. Um, again, you're just gonna have to analyze these tiers and decide which of these tiers are important for your playstyle. And maybe you don't have a playstyle yet. Maybe you've just started playing. You don't know what works for you. So I can tell you from personal experience. Um, you can usually get away with not putting points into your weapon skills until 10, 12, level 14. You, you really can. You, you, you can. And, and you're, you're, you... Now, I tag the melee skills when I roll up my tune, so they usually come in at 35, 40. So they're usually pretty good to start with. Um, maybe you're going to want to put, you know, 5 points into the skill and get it up to 40 um, to, get that, to get that level 40 competent unlock but then you know you can probably sit on 40 until well into your mid-teens honestly seriously um so let's look at handguns um so you can see here with just 41 in handgun skill i have 151.5 percent handgun crit chance handgun crit chance um how much above 100 percent do you need <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> I don't know about this system. Um, so, and then handgun sway. Yeah, you know, it's, it's fine. Um, I appreciate that. It makes it easier to hit with the gun. Uh, so the, the, um, the, the tier unlocks, um, unlock TTDs. That's, that's important. Um, handgun critical damage. Now, there's a tier unlock I want. Oh, yeah. Um, minimum armor penetration damage. Sure, sure. Um, Ten percent? Uh, I don't know. That one doesn't strike me as that that great. Um, end game. I'm going to use corrosive. They're going to be penetrating armor. Uh, corrosive ignores a lot of armor. Debuffed enemy critical chance. That's garbage to me. I look look at my crit chance. <laughs> Why do I need another twenty percent crit chance? It's insane. Okay, the master. Handgun criticals ignore 100% of armor. Now that's nice. I like that one. If I'm making a gunslinger, if I'm making a pistol user, I'm going to 100. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna miss out on that because in game, you're gonna face very heavily armored opponents, and boy howdy, if if you can. There's a, there's a perk where after a kill, your next hit is an attack. And so what you do is you use that perk to, you kill a minion, you shoot the boss. You kill a minion, you shoot the boss. And then this way, if you're fighting Ram, then every single hit is going to ignore his insane armor level. So yeah, that's a good one. Um, long guns, this is the skill I have the most experience with. Um, if I'm making a long gun sniper, I'm going to 100. Um, 302.5% crit chance. I mean, god damn. Come on, Obsidian. Man, how much crit chance do you need? Um, the, the long gun's weight. <clears throat> sure. You know, I can notice a difference. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so 20, again, that's a good one. 40, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll take that. Uh, 60, yeah. Say I think I think long guns has some of the best uh, tier unlocks. Eighty, eh? That's that's fine. Um, it's it's probably the least attractive of all of them here. 
and then 100 your crits ignore 100 percent of armor oh yeah 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 that's a good one uh heavy weapons <clears throat> okay so crit chance and weapons weigh just like the others the passives are they are what they are uh 20 yes i take that 40 um sure absolutely um heavy weapon reload speed eh that's that's okay you know that's fine um expert critical hits increase rate of fire um that's fine that's fine i don't have a problem with that one and then 100 yeah sure this is this is another skill i would definitely consider taking to 100 if you know if if this is your and and again in my opinion you need to have one weapon skill and stick with it okay um you need to be a one-handed guy you need to be a heavy weapons guy um, if you go in for a jack of all trades you will be a master of none and on normal and story sure you're fine the game is super easy on normal and story so whatever sky's the limit folks but on hard and supernova especially supernova um, you need to be good at something um, you need a 100 weapon skill somewhere um, so yeah 100 heavy weapons Okay, the defense skills. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, the defense skills in this game. Dodge, I need to test dodge more. I, I really do. Um, and I'm going to. Uh, dodge might be good with the um, harmful status effect duration decrease. Um, that, that certainly could be helpful. Um, the dodge distance... I don't know about that. Um, so unlock the ability to leap forward at 20. That's fine. Uh, 40. Okay, you can dodge more often. Okay. Um, all right. Um, <clears throat> so dodge protection plus 30% to your armor. Okay. Uh, uh, at Supernova, it's really hard to talk about armor and how much protection it gives you because the mobs hit so darn hard um the plus 30 percent to armor rating eh, okay i guess um i'd have to see it in action um you know you're gonna need to be wearing some some pretty well tinkered armor for this to be meaningful and it's only for five seconds and then how quickly can you dodge you know with with the 40 with the plus 100 percent can you dodge every five seconds if you can then this could be good but i mean do you need to dodge every five seconds i mean are you is is dodging every five seconds going to interrupt your rotation interrupt your, your 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 attack animations that kind of thing um <clears throat> there's a lot of ifs here um okay your next melee attack gains 50 percent at 80 dodge um yeah that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool but it's melee right so 80 is useless for range people so if you're if you're a gunslinger and you want dodge um 80 does nothing for you um and then 100 your next weak spot hit has a 50 percent chance to ignore armor only 50 percent for 100 points ouch i don't know guys I, I don't know i've heard bad things about the defensive skills in this game um i i i don't know i'm gonna have to test it block i've tested it yuck <laughs> okay let me just say yuck i've taken this to 100 it's plus 20 it's plus 20 or 24 to your armor which isn't a lot um it's um it's about 15 percent if you're in heavy armor um and then landing perfect blocks in the your okay in in first person shooters there's a there's a there's a um there's a quantity known as time to kill so you, you, time to kill is your time to kill a target and the target's time to kill you because first person shooters are usually shooting at other people and um so you know short ttks like in counter strike and, and um and uh um, day of defeat 
um, they're 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 brutal. You know, you you don't have much time to do something about the fact that you're getting wailed on. You know, um, and then your TTKs in games like Call of Duty are much higher, and those are considered more arcadey. They're considered um, they're usually scorned on a little bit more. Because, you know, if you, if you screw up and get yourself in a bad position and you start taking fire, you've got a lot more time to react. So, your time to kill in this game is pretty low on Supernova. I mean, if you watch any of my Supernova videos, you will see moments where I'm fine and then I'm almost dead. <laughs> you blink and your health is gone. Um, and block doesn't seem to help that very much. Um, enemies, they don't project a lot of attacks. There aren't a lot of tells. Um, the combat system is not super sophisticated, you know. And that's fine. It's just that lack of sophistication, those the lack of tells, makes it harder to get these perfect blocks. And if you're not getting perfect blocks, then why do you have block, right? Um, and blocking only works against melee attacks. It doesn't work against ranged attacks. It doesn't do a damn thing to ranged attacks. <clears throat> so, you know, right there, <clears throat> block is useless for at least half your opponents, if not more. Because a lot of your opponents, like Mantisaurs and Raptodonts, they'll do both. They'll do both ranged and melee. So if the Raptodon is sitting back spitting at you, and oh, by the way, the Raptodon spit has a slow. And oh, by the way, you're melee, so now your damn move speed is cut in half, and you can't get to the target to hit the damn thing because he hit the slow on you. Well, then it's it's just a big mess. And these defense skills, which are mainly geared towards melee, and melee is gimp in this game, and so the efficacy of these skills are very questionable. If you're making a range tune, except for a gunslinger, um, you don't need these skills, um, and block is completely useless for ranged because you only get the passive if you're holding a melee weapon. So, yeah, uh, approach the defense category with caution, with a lot of caution. Dialogue. Okay, so there's people that love dialogue, and, and I get that. Um, there's people who, um, they've made a role-playing choice, or they don't like combat, or um, they are specifically attempting a pacifist playthrough. Um, and so that, that brings them to the dialogue skills. Um, these, are, these are useful. They pop up all the time in the game. Um, people, people talk about the Outer Worlds as having consequences and player choices and all this good stuff. And to a certain extent, that is certainly true. But to, but you need to be fair and honest when you're talking about that. In many cases, I have found, because I've played tunes who had at least one good dialogue skill, and, and I think that's what you should shoot for. Um, your goal should be, if you can, to get one of these to 100, not natural, I'm just saying buffed. Buffed with your armor, buffed with your companions, buffed with perks to 100 if you can do it and you can do it you can do it with lone wolf and you can do it um with companions it's it's very doable and in fact with companions and the right build you can have two of these at 200 not a problem um these are handy um i like to get one or two if not three dialogues to 20 because you get a cower and we'll just look at all three real quick. So you see, this is creatures, this is auto mechanicals or robots, and this is people. And if you can have all three of these at 20, then that gives you a chance in combat to basically CC that target out of the fight. And, you know, that's nice. That's helpful. So I would strongly consider um, and strongly recommend that you try to get 20 in all three of these to get the in combat um, effect. Uh, after that, the cower duration, the scramble duration. Um, now, terrifies area of effect. That's interesting. But the durations, eh. But right there, 40 and in intimidate. That's interesting. Um, terrified creature movement speed. Eh. Eh. You know, the 60. 
I, I don't, you know, nah, not for me. <clears throat> the 80. Um, now, creature terrified chance. That's interesting. Once again, intimidate seems to have the best in combat effects. And then 100. Um, terrifying creature gives a... Yeah. Now, that's pretty darn good. Once again, Intimidate seems to have the best um, combat effect. Now, I tell you what. 100. Lie. That could really help you against Ram. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I don't know about taking Lie to to a natural 100. That's, that's a lot of points. But boy, that could really help you against Ram. And Ram on Supernova, he's a handful. Um... The Master Persuade, that's not bad. That's not bad. But then again, armor is weak in this game. So, um, I'm going to call that the weakest of the hundreds, but that's not bad. Uh, it's just that the, 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 the tiers in between, um, you know, 20 to 80, eh, not so good. So, yeah, dialogue. Me personally, I'm not taking dialogue skills to a natural 100. Ever, I mean ever, especially because your early your early dialogue skill checks and conversations are relatively low, twenty to forty to forty five. Um, so if you if you get one of those to a natural forty five fifty, you can you can squat on that for a while, and then you want to look at what are your companions buffing you to, what is your gear buffing you to, and um, decide if these passive effects, if these tier effects are of any value to you. Um, I say it's questionable. Um, the most attractive to me is Intimidate. But that's creatures. <clears throat> You're not going to face any creatures at all in Endgame. It's all humans and robots. And it's mostly humans. It's just the final mean son of a bitch is a robot so you know it's it's tough to build for end game with any type of um, efficiency and you can't you, you can't go back out to your ship and respec so there's that um well wait a minute could you could you uh yes you could you sure as hell could i'm i'm wrong about that if you wanted to be that power gamey you know you could go through the human section of the pit with persuade at 100 <clears throat> and then when you got to right before the battle with ram you could run all the way back out now of course if you're on normal or hard you can fast travel but on supernova you have to run well no you can i've never tried to fast travel to my ship in the pit so i don't know but you could go back to your ship you could respect and respect to to um to a hundred lie and see if that if that helped you. I don't know, whatever. Okay, stealth. This is one of my favorite categories. Um, I like stealth. <clears throat> um, so sneak sneak is a great skill to take to 100. Um, the passives are really nice, um, as you can see. Your sneak attack damage goes up and up and up with every point, so it works exactly like you think it would work. Unlike the weapon skills, I'm looking at you, Obsidian. Um, so 20% to get your sneak attack. Uh, 40% to pickpockets, very, very helpful for certain things. Um, however, if you think you're going to make a living off picking people's pockets, uh, you're sadly deluded, especially on Supernova, because you can't save. Um, you got to be super, super careful about who you pickpocket and when and where you pick their pocket. Uh, it's it's. It's, it, it's got some very specific, fantastic uses, and then outside of that, its uses are somewhat limited in utility. 60 is nice, <clears throat> increase your crouch speed, but if you watch my if you watch my sneak video part two, you'll see that with the right gear and the right perks, you can sprint right up behind the NPC, crouch, and one shot them. So. The, the crouch speed isn't as useful as you would think. <clears throat> sneak attack weak spot damage. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. And sneak attacks ignore 50% of armor's target. That's a good one. Because you're in game, you're going to be facing very heavily armored opponents. So 100 sneak is a great option. It's a great way to go. Um, buffing your sneak is a great way to go. Um, you know, <clears throat> and if you, if you take... Um, 
Neoka or Felix, you can buff this like 50 points higher, 60 points higher with the right with the right configuration on your character. <clears throat> so yeah, you can get your sneak into the 160s, 170s, and um, you can be doing some absolutely ferocious sneak attack damage. Now the problem is you get knocked out of you get knocked out of sneak pretty easily in this game because the 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 um, the support systems and the system itself that surrounds the sneak skill is pretty unsophisticated. It's not well thought out. It's not well implemented. Um, so that's frustrating. So the game, <clears throat> to me, the game is not built to support sneaky characters. And so that makes the sneak skill in and of itself less attractive. I am admittedly trying to shoehorn in my preferred playstyle into a game that doesn't want me to sneak. That much is obvious. So think about that before you commit. Um, I'm going 100 sneak. Um, I recommend you go 100 sneak if you like that style of play. If you don't, you're going to be fine. Uh, hack. This is a good skill. There's no denying this is a good skill. I have never taken it to 100. I don't think you need to. Um, hacking auto mechanicals. Um, why bother? Shoot them in the head? Shoot them in the glow, glowy blue spot? I mean, huh? Why? No? Uh, whatever. Um, the, the passive effect to raising hack is that different terminals have different hack skill levels. And so raising your hack will allow you to hack harder terminals. And just like lockpick we'll talk about in a second, raising your hack, spill, hack skill decreases the number of shunts it takes to hack that device. Um, so uh, 20 hack is an absolute mandatory. You must have 20 hack. You can sell the vending machines. That is worth its weight in gold. You are out deep in a level and you get over encumbered with loot oh my god what are you going to do well if there's a vending machine nearby and you have 20 hack you can just go sell and that is wonderful because you need bits you don't need weapon parts you don't need armor parts you need bits okay uh 40 um unlock access to restricted items and vending machines um this is situational um, it's just going to depend if those restricted items are something you need. Sometimes the things that are restricted are really stupid, like food and chems. Um, but sometimes there's a really nice weapon that's restricted. Sometimes there's a really nice mod that's restricted. So 40 hack is nice. Um, 60 is useless in my opinion. Um, 80? Um... That's fine uh, if you're a sneaky character and you want to absolutely maximize your stealth ability, then you're you're, you're going to want 80 um, hack. I've never bothered with it, and 100 is to me useless. So, whatever. Uh, lockpick. This is one of my favorite skills in the game. I love lockpick. You will get so much more XP. You will get so much more loot, so much more money. Um, there is some nice gear hiding behind locks. And if you don't have lockpick, you're never going to get access to it. I can't imagine me ever playing this game without some lockpick. Now, how much lockpick, that's debatable. Um, 20 is nice because it, it lowers your mag pick requirement by one. That'll help you save save you mag picks. Um, 40, eh, that's that's no big deal. 60, eh, that's in fact I find 60 confusing because <laughs> I walk up to the damn container and it's locked and I, I aim at it and I get the window for the preview and I think it's unlocked and I start jamming E to start looting stuff when in fact I still have to unlock the container. It just confuses me. 80. Eh, I, I I don't. It it doesn't really interest me. Um, I've never found lock picking speed to be that important. There's maybe two, maybe three instances in the entire game where you're rushing through a lock pick, and 100 is complete garbage. Uh, pristine items are 
a complete non-consideration. Pristine means next to nothing to me. Um, uh, you'd make more money. So that's a plus. Uh, you'd probably make a lot more money. So maybe this is a way to um, to help your long guns uh, afford his tinkering costs at endgame. Maybe. Uh, may, maybe I've missed something here. Maybe because it's, it's 100%. Of course, there's got to be an item in there in the first place to come out pristine, right? So, you know, um, how much more money are you going to have at endgame? I don't know. I haven't tested it. I'd have to do an entire playthrough with a 100 lockpick. Um, and in order to maximize this effect, you're going to want to get a 100 lockpick as early as possible. And there are other skills. You needed a 100 earlier. Okay? So, that's... That that's that's really tough to evaluate, but yeah, 70 lock pick is the minimum <clears throat> for my lone wolf, and that's because I can I can buff lock pick 30 points, so I can get 100 and I can get into any um, any container any room in the game. So that's what I want on my lone wolf. On a companion build, you can get even less. Okay, you can go with even less lock pick because again you can add the 30 from your from your safe crackers jacket, it's uh, right here. Uh, there you go. So that's plus ten to lock pick, double it to twenty. Um, there is no better helmet, unfortunately, than this for lock pick. So there's your plus ten. So there's thirty. Um, so yeah, I th I think you can get away with fifty something lock pick because if you if you build your if you build your companion uh, character correctly you can get really big buffs from your companions and you know run either felix or Pravardi plus the lock pick and boom you're done okay so medical <clears throat> one of the worst skills in the game in my opinion um the passive drives up the heal amount and the duration on the medical inhaler okay so things last 15 seconds okay so if I take this to 100, that's an additional, that's 50%. So I'm going to go from 15 to 22 seconds. whoop de doo It's not worth it. Um, now unlocking the second drug slot, unlocking the third drug slot, sure, that's good. I have no problem with those. Um, <clears throat> but the passive effect is very meh. Um, 80, the fourth drug slot, that's fine, but I don't feel like I need it. And the 100, I, you know, I'm not putting 100 points into medical to get a 20% bonus to just humans. Now, in game, that's going to serve you very well. Um, if you feel like you need big heals, okay, um, okay, you know, go for it. Uh, I don't like it, and this is why I don't like Ellie because she buffs medical. Um, so no. The reason I have 50 is because I was raising science, and medical went up anyway. I have never put a point in medical, and I finished the game seven times, four times on Supernova. So, now, granted, I had a hell of a time with my melee, but that's a separate discussion. Science. One of the best skills in the game, right here. This is a skill you must have. Um, it's absolutely critical to get 20 science. That way you can tinker your weapons. If you can't tinker your weapons... You are going to be completely gimp in this game. I mean, you're just your your combat is just going to stink. You are going to suck. <clears throat> so 20 science, absolute bare minimum. Now, with that 20 science, your tinkering costs are going to be very high. You know, you're going to be able to tinker your weapons two, three times, maybe four times, and that tinker cost is going to skyrocket on you. So you really want 40. So okay, we're into 40. We cut our tinkering cost in half. Well, guess what's at 60? 60 is really nice. That is plus 25% to the best damage type in the game, Corrosion. N-Ray. I ain't even talking about N-Ray. Um, so 60 is really good. 80 is really good. In fact, 80 is absolutely mandatory for science weapon builds. If you like any of the science weapons, you must have 80 must okay and then 100 is absolutely delicious 100 science is 
absolutely fantastic. Um, as a long guns build, you are going to be broke. The assault rifle ultra, which should be your your mainstay, go to medium to close range gun, is level twenty. That's fifteen levels of tinkering, my friend. Um, uh, let's 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 look real quick. Fifteen levels of tinkering. Um, <laughs> it's crazy expensive. Even with a hundred science, look at these tinkering costs here. Uh, okay, eight hundred and fifty. Look at that, fifty-six thousand bits. <laughs> I can't afford to get my damn ultra to thirty-five, cause I'm broke. <laughs> Okay, 56,507 bits, and that's with 100 science. Okay, so I'm slashing that 90%. Okay, let's do a back-of-the-envelope calculation here real quick. <laughs> Got my calculator out here, and let's do 56,507. Okay, so we cut that by 90%, right? Okay, <laughs> times 1.9, that's 107,300, no wait, no wait, no, that's wrong, I, I did that wrong, 56,507, right, that's, that's 10%, right, yeah, so that's, half a million bits approximately yeah <laughs> you know what let's would you please get out oh god i'm gonna shoot this guy in the head dude get out of the way okay obsidian if you're gonna put if you're gonna if you're gonna make npcs so that they block movement then you need to not have them standing in doorways Okay, let's let's spec out a science. So fifty six thousand. What happens if we hit the wall? In case you don't know, this is the the respect machine right here. It's really cheap. Um, and I there's there's a great way to. Um, so there we go. So now we're reset. So look at our science now. Eighteen, right? Okay. So let's go back. Well, we don't have to go back. We can go right here. Now let's look at it. This is going to be insane. Oh, we got to have 20. Duh, my bad. Okay. So skills, science, one, two. Okay, there we go. Okay, tinker. <laughs> 565,000 bits. <laughs> I'm telling you, folks. I'm telling you. You have to have a high science. You, you, you have to have high science, okay? Say that with me over and over and over again. 565,000 bits to tinker this from 34 to 35. That's for six points of damage from 164 to 170. <laughs> That's absolutely brutal. Now, I tell you what, I'm a power gamer. I would strongly think about respecting out of some of these skills once I was done with them. However, it wouldn't be science, and I'll tell you why. Because science increases your plasma, your shock, your corrosion, and your N-ray. I would, I would keep science at 100. I would buff science beyond 100 if I could. So, yum. One of the best skills in the game, hands down. Maybe the best skill. Maybe. Okay? Okay. So I'm done gushing on science and how great it is. Engineering. Garbage. You hear me? Garbage. This skill is garbage. Uh, 20 to repair in the field, and then you're done. The rest of this stuff is is garbage. It's just, just read down the list. Break down weapons for a 20% chance to extract a basic mod. A basic mod. Let's talk about basic mods at 30. Let me show you where I put my, put my mods. <laughs> um... Does it look like I'm hurting for basic mods? I and, I and I sell a lot of them. I vendor a lot of my mods. Okay, this is a range tune. 
and my companions are all set to ranged, so all my all my melee mods have been vendored for the most part, except this one little guy who's he's he's feeling mighty lonely. Um, you don't you don't need extra mods, or not extra basic mods anyway. Um, Twenty percent chance your item will become pristine. Whoop de fucking do. Okay, who cares? Okay, um, you rarely have to repair anything in this game. It doesn't happen that often. Uh, no, garbage. Uh, a 10% chance to get a rare mod? Are you kidding me? 80 points for 10%? And you don't even know which rare mod it's going to be? All right? And there's only going to be a few rare mods that are going to be applicable to your build. Uh-uh. Garbage. And then damage to auto mechanicals. Dude, I'm one-shotting auto mechanicals as it is. Do, do I need to one-shot them even harder? No. Garbage. Absolute garbage. And the passive effect is it decreases armor parts and weapon parts when you when you repair. I'm tripping over over um, weapon parts. Look at this. Look at this. I don't break armor down. Ever. Okay? It's garbage. Absolute garbage. One of the worst skills in the game. This and medical. Garbage. Uh-uh. Don't even touch them. And the defense skills. Uh. Okay, so the last two skills. Leadership. Um, the importance of these skills is going to be predicated over whether you're a companion build or a lone wolf build. Right? So if you're lone wolf, they're irrelevant. If you're a companion, they're important. How important? That's going to depend on you. That's going to depend on your build. But I think... That 60 inspiration is one of the best investments you can make in this game. If you're running companions, you want 60 inspiration. You want this over so many other considerations. Um, when I'm doing a companion run on Supernova, uh, my priorities are getting science up as fast as possible, um, having enough lock pick to get in the containers I want to get into, and 60 inspiration as fast as possible because <clears throat> that's 100% to your to your companion buffs. <clears throat> that is absolutely critical, okay? 20 is absolutely critical because there you get your companion special attacks. Um, 40 is nice. That, that's nice. Um, I'll take that, but armor's gimp. So, you know, you, 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 you have to... You, you, you have to weigh that one with the the fact that damage far exceeds armor in this game as Supernova. Okay, it's really hard to talk about protection in Supernova. Yes, armor provides protection. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just saying the mob is hitting you for 500, and the armor mitigates 114 of it. Okay, so you know if the if the mob was hitting you for 200 and the armor mitigated 114, that'd be wonderful. But the mob's hitting you for 500. <laughs> right? So the 140... See, the, the problem is the armor doesn't get better and the mobs hit harder and harder and harder and harder. Okay, so 80. Um, uh, eh, I, don't, I don't love that. Um, uh, your, your crit chance is astronomical. Um, watch. Right? And then, so, look, we're already at 178. 200, 250, 300, 302 <laughs> crit chance. <laughs> I mean, do I really need? Okay, so that's 20%. So I'm going to go from 302 to um, uh, 360. All right. Okay, <laughs> so I, I do, I just, I just don't know. I, I, that doesn't sound very, very helpful to me. Um, when a companion kills an enemy, all companion blue cooldowns. Might have, yeah, that, that, that's most fights don't last long enough to get to a second use of your companion abilities. So for this, you're really only talking about the Mega Manta Queen. The, the, the big Manta Queen in, in the Oka's battle, um, maybe some of the um, the um, colossal Raptodons, those can be a handful, those can go a little long, um, and then Ram. You know, these so really three fights are in the whole game, 
that are going to go long enough for you to get into that second rotation of your companion abilities. So, no, I don't like that. Now, Inspiration does increase companion damage bonus, and, and, and it increases it nicely. Um, let's, let's get this to 60, and we can look at um, where this goes. Oh, I clicked my mouse off there. Okay, and so um, so now you know we're we're you know we're at 68.2 percent damage bonus. That's just straight up to damage across the board all the time. That is yummy. Um, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So inspiration, 20, 40, 60, absolutely. 80, 100, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, the passive is nice. And finally, determination. This is really good. Um, if you're running companions, you want some determination. Um, how much is up to you? Um, you can see uh, 496. Uh, how much is that re in reality? Well, let's take a look at Sam. Um, it's not much for Sam. It's not much. 496, uh, we're talking less than 10%. So it's not a huge jump, but every little bit can help. Um, you never know. Um, if you look at somebody like Vicar Max, who has a lot less, um, the determination buff to his health is much more impactful than it is for Sam. But then again, Sam is the best companion, so, you know, whatever. You should be running Sam and somebody else. If you're not, you are you are running a suboptimal configuration with your companions. Sorry, that's just just the way it is people um look at the at the uh, tier unlocks um the the inhaler can now heal the companions so 20 is good uh 40 is good 60 60 is not bad i don't have a problem with 60 um i don't have the points for it if your build has 10 points lounging around 60 is nice 80 um, okay, this is garbage on Supernova because <laughs> you don't want your companions dying on anything but Supernova. That'd be fine. Uh, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend skill points for it. Um, Master, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, so if you wanted to do 60 Inspiration, 100 Determination because you're doing a leadership build, okay. Sure. I, I, I can see that. Um, so, yeah. So, that's the skills. Um, we've talked through them all. Um, I think you know which ones I like and which ones I don't like. And you know why I like them and why I don't like them. Maybe you disagree. Um, if you've got a counter-argument, um, hey, throw it in the comments. Um, I love discussing things. I certainly don't know everything about this game. Um, I'd like to learn more about the game. And if you've got a different perspective on it, you know, now if your perspective is that I'm a dumbass, I'm I, I I don't find that particularly useful. It may be true, but I don't find it useful. <laughs> so anyway, that's the end of this one. I know it went long. Uh, I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you next time. <laughs>